Hello everyone. On the workbench is something I didn't need to get, but I saw it and I thought it was so stupid I had to get it. Um, I've already kind of started taking it apart here. The glass just comes off like that. I probably spent too much money on this. I spent like 11 bucks on it. This <laughs> is a Samsung wall clock. Notice the logo there. That's not the Samsung logo. Uh, this is quite goofy. Uh, I believe this is a bootleg of some sort. Uh, it's Korean made, one of, one of those Korean made wall clocks. Um, and it, the, the, just the label here, uh, good time, long durable, and what I thought said graceful model actually says gabaceful model, which I'm assuming is supposed to say graceful model. I don't know how to speak Korean, so I don't know what any of that says, but <laughs> this is something else. This is interesting. I haven't seen anything on the internet about this. You can hear it wants to go. It's ticking. This was sold as not working. I got it running in the store. The chime mechanism is acting funny. I'm assuming it just needs oil and it will probably work okay. Overall, it's in it's in okay shape. I didn't notice this till I got this out of the store. Apparently, someone didn't want to move the clock while they were painting the wall and they got paint all over the side. I'll see if I can remove it. If not, it's not a huge deal. Uh, no information on the back. Um, definitely, uh, you know, a cheaply made Korean uh, wall clock, probably from the 70s or maybe 80s, somewhere around there. It seems like that's when these were popular. Uh, I'm going to start digging into it here. And yeah, uh, it came with the key. At the very least, I suppose this would be a good parts unit if I ever find a uh, you know, another wall clock I want to repair. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll, I'll start taking it apart here. All right, it's apart now and it, see it very much wants to run, so that's not an I'm issue. I'm going to take the mechanism out and then I will clean and lubricate it real quick. Uh, it doesn't look like this is gonna be too difficult. Pretty simple mechanism here, not a lot going on. All right, I got the mechanism out here and uh, I'm gonna take that skewer there and scrape out the bushings and then just put in some clock oil. All right, so it's all oiled up and back together now. But one problem I'm noticing is that um, whenever I activate, you know, the chime, it goes way too fast. And it goes so fast that it ends up skipping and then chimes again, and it's not supposed to do that. I'm not exactly sure what is missing because there's some sort of fan there, but Maybe there's supposed to be more weight and it's just fallen out or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put a little piece of tape around it and uh, to cause more resistance. I'm going to try and see what I can do to fix that problem. All right, so here's the solution to that problem. I just used two pieces of painter's tape and I trimmed them till they weren't smacking any of the gears in there. And now... It's not going so fast that it's skipping over this stop here and chiming another chime. So I think this will work. All right, so here's the clock put all back together. I have it hanging on the wall. I'm uh, trying to get it running at the right speed, which it's actually been running pretty well. But of course, it's only been uh, probably about a day. So a little bit of adjustment on those on the pendulum makes a difference in you know the month as the month progresses because this is 31 days after all so yeah kind of an interesting clock here i i highly doubt this is legitimately a samsung product or mitsubishi product for that matter um, unless there's something i don't know about that they collaborated but i doubt it especially judging by the uh poor spelling and grammar this is some sort of bootleg i got most of that paint off on the side but here, I'll make it chime real quick. It chimes a little bit fast, but it's not too bad. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.